How is everybody doing today? This is Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com. Uh, I have another uh, box opening today uh, from Watch Gang, uh, as you can see. Uh, real quick, before I get started though, we'll do a quick wrist check. And today I am rocking a brand new Belova Precisionist. Um, I will do a video on this guy here in a couple of days um, to let you guys know all about this and how I came across this guy. Um, but uh, that's what I've got on watch or on my wrist today. Uh, also, we've got a different box opening knife today. Um, this one is a Bliss knife that uh, I recently acquired through a uh, uh, mystery box auction, which I won. Um, so we've got a lot of cool things coming out of that uh, to show you in video here in the next week or so. Um, but today, let's talk about this uh, this shipment I got from Watch Gang. This is um, a Watch Gang wheel spin watch. Um, this one I actually uh, spun tier one, which is 100 points. And I think, what are the points? The points are like 40 cents per piece. So it's like $40 that I spent on the wheel spin for this watch. Um, again, this is a, from watchgang.com. Um, this guy came from... West Bloomfield, but we'll get this guy open and see what we have here. Uh, as always, what I'll do is I'll open the uh, watch, take a look and see what we have, and then I'll take a quick pause for some still pictures as well as uh, as well as we'll look up and see what we can find out about it. Funny note. We finally have some packing in. Everybody sees me in these videos bitch about watch companies not doing any packing. Um, but uh, they finally did with this one, so that's at least nice. At least there was something in there. Um, so, like I said, this was a tier one spin on the watch addiction. Or I'm sorry, on the uh, Watch Gang website, uh, their, their wheel application there. Um, tier 1, $40, anything from uh, black subscription watches all the way up, um, depending on what you select. But this one I actually, on my Tier 1 spin, I want a Tier 2 watch. So uh, the Tier 2 watch that they said they were going to send me was a random Heritor, and that's what we have here. So... I'll get this guy out so you can see it. Red and black um, dial. This guy is an automatic. Now I'm going to have to do a little bit of research and find out a little bit more about it. Um, right off the bat, I don't hate this watch. Um, I've got a couple other Heritor watches um, that I've been happy with so far. Um, but... Uh, not bad for 40 bucks. I want to say they retail in the mid hundreds. I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me, but we'll look it up here in a minute. Um, leather band, which seems doesn't seem overly cheesy, but needs to be broken in a little bit, but we'll get it there. Um, if you pause real quick, or I'm going to take a pause real quick right now, we'll show you some close-up uh pictures of this guy and then we'll come back once I break out the laptop and see what kind of research we can do on it. Thanks guys. All right, thank you for checking out those still pictures and uh, sticking with us here. Um, so as you can see, I, I pulled out the laptop and started to do, do a little bit of research about this watch. Um, this Heritor, the model number on this guy is HR5. 
3001. Uh, if you want to look it up and do your own research on this, um, HR3001 by Hair Tor um, I believe this model is called, well, not believe, this model is called the Norton, N-O-R-T-O-N, uh, stainless steel case. Uh, this guy has a 21 joule, I'm sorry, 22 joule automatic movement uh, in the back with the display back. And you probably, it's tough to see, I'll see if I can get a, a better, there we go, better shot for you. It says hair to her right on the uh, balance wheel. Um, the beats per hour on this guy is 21,600 beats per hour. Um, so, you know, as you can see from the uh, sweep on the second hand, it's got a pretty good sweep on that guy. 36 hour power reserve, thanks to that uh, 22 joules. Now, the one thing that I'm just going to point out here that I think is kind of interesting, and I don't know if this is a typo or uh, somebody just doesn't have their facts right, or if I'm just a moron to begin with, but the back of this watch says... Uh, we'll see if you can see it there. It says 22 jeweled movement. Um, yet, uh, according to Heritor's website, it's only 21 jewels. So, quite honestly, I'm not sure what is correct. Um, but, you know, that's really neither here nor there. Uh, average loss and gain rate on this guy is plus or minus 45 seconds a day. Not horrible. Um, you know, I've got some watches that do worse than that, and I've definitely got some watches that do better than that. Um, it'll really come down to uh, when I throw this in the app and see what we can actually see as far as accuracy. Um, some mineral crystal on the front of this guy, but it is sapphire coated, so that should help out a little bit. Um, what else? Like I said, genuine leather, they call this crocodile embossed strap. Um, it's a pretty nice strap. I mean, I'm, I'm more of a, a metal band type of guy, but, um, you know, this, I can definitely see myself wearing this watch with uh, some of my suits. Uh, let's see here. Luminous hands, luminous markers. Uh, they do have the magnification on the date. Uh, you can see that there. They don't specify what the magnification is, and quite honestly, I forgot what the name of that uh, piece is called. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll skip over that one right now. They say this is a 45 millimeter case diameter. Um, I don't know. It feels it feels a little small to me. Um, it could be just because they they've got the bump outs on the side here, but the actual dial seems much smaller to me. Uh, but again, I'm not an expert in anything. I'm just going based on uh, my experience and, and the watches that I have. Um, it says the case is 48 millimeters wide with the crown, 45 millimeters without the crown. So from here to here, 48 millimeters um, is, what they're, is what they're stating. This guy is 13 millimeters thick. Uh, so... Anybody that wears a suit coat, wears dress shirts, um, you know, the, the problem with some of the thicker watches, some of the bigger watches, um, like for instance with this Precisionist, I'll take it off here, um, the thickness of the watches, it can get caught underneath your uh, dress shirt and it can be kind of annoying. Um, so I tend to find myself wearing much thinner watches when it comes to uh, when I'm wearing a suit or a dress shirt. Um, any other time, I'm definitely wearing thicker watches because I like a, a beefier, beefier watch. Um, the MSRP, uh, the retail price on this, according to Heritage's website, is $1,000. We all know a lot of times that that's a highly inflated price. Um, again, I paid roughly $40 for this on a Tier 1 wheel spin. So anything over $40, I'm happy with uh, for getting this watch. Um, just taking a look at a couple websites real quick. Uh, let me throw this guy down and see if you can see it here. So, first place I look, um, first place I usually always look is Amazon. Um, and Amazon has this guy for, apologize for the shakiness, $417.95 with free shipping. Um, back out a little bit here. 
apologize guys, my video setup is freaking horrible here. Um, Overstock.com has this watch listed for $359.95. Uh, that's at Overstock.com. Uh, another good one for checking out watches is Bluefly. Bluefly tends to have uh, some really great prices on watches. Um, they've got it listed for $290. Um, and it appears that this guy is in stock with Bluefly at $290. And then finally, we'll jump over to, oddly enough, jcpenny.com uh, has this watch listed for $400. So, the reason I bring all of that up is that, again, this was a wheel spin watch from Watch Gang, and a tier one wheel spin watch that I paid $40 for, um, even at its lowest, brand new, um, from what I found in the 10 minutes that I've searched, um, brand new, the cheapest I found is $290. I'm sure we probably, could take a look at eBay, we might be able to get it lower than that, um, but who knows. Um, nevertheless, the, the one thing I will point out is, again, I only spent $40 on this, so um, as long as I got over $40 in value, I'm happy. Whether I keep it, whether I trade it, that'll be yet to be seen. Um, if you're interested in buying this watch, uh, I can tell you that I won't be selling it for $40, but um, we could definitely make a deal as long as uh, as long as I'm happy and you're happy. Definitely hit me up. Um, you know, just hit me up at the website mywatchaddiction.com and uh, we can see what we can work out. Nevertheless, that's not why I'm here. That's not why uh, I'm showing you this watch. I uh, kind of ecstatic about this one a little bit. I'm gonna wear it a little bit, see how it feels, um, see if I get any reactions to it. Uh, and then we'll make a decision on if this one is going to be kept, traded, or sold. Anyway, I uh, just want to thank you guys for watching these videos. Again, I know I'm not an expert. Um, absolutely amateur video, absolutely amateur knowledge about watches. But you know what? I have fun doing this stuff, and that's all that really matters to me. Um, definitely hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button if you like them. If you don't like them, I'm sorry. You just don't have to watch them again. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, thank you guys. And I will be back hopefully a little bit later this week um, with s some reviews on some of the watches I won during a mystery box auction. Um, we got about five different watches in. Then coming up in October, uh, October is going to be a huge month. We've got, uh, uh, we've got close to eight eight or nine new watches coming in uh, in October. So definitely have a video for each of those. Uh, again, if anybody has any questions, um, thank you and uh, have a great weekend.